Okay, being a black folks now, the only thing this could possibly be would be Venus. But Venus is pretty small. Now look at the size of the sun. Okay, this, we know the sun is that big. Okay, and we know that it takes not Venus, but Jupiter, 10 point something, almost 11 of them to make the size of the sun. Okay, and then the location of the camera, because this is today from Stereo Ahead Core 2. Okay. And yeah, they don't like this because they screwed up recording already and I was going to show this. So we have this, I'm just being basically honestly with you folks. So I had to load up whatever I do for a quarter twice here to get this going. So anyway, we got this object there. It's very interesting again. It's basically after I basically talk, okay, it's there. And it's huge and it's not Venus because we're going to go ahead and look at our map for today because that's the eye line and now we know that we see a lot of stuff now we know it's not mercury because it is to the left and it is ahead and you don't flip it around you don't you flip it around if you're looking at behind on B okay so Venus is the only thing that we should be able to see and there's no way that Venus should look that damn big unless it was way close to the lens and be over here somewhere in the view which is not just straight this little small like that because you end up seeing the Sun so you know it's a wide view that we get because we get huge views of space okay so we know it's not Venus. You know it's not because of the size of Venus, okay? And that's why the truth bleeds and the idea that I also want people to realize that we had a six point something off the coast of Oregon, I believe. And look at the footprint of how huge that quake was, folks. And it was about two or three days ago, okay? Now we're going to take you to some footage of what happened on... Okay, on the 13th, folks, we had this, and basically I was, did a video, and I think I trashed it, but what I did is, like, because it was close, okay, and it's huge, as you could see, it made a huge thing, but there was also, I'm going to take you to some video footage from a newscast, okay, and basically, I got it off of YouTube off of standard, so then basically, uh, creative rights and so forth, the way I do it and so forth, I can go ahead and go in there and scalp it because it doesn't matter it's on standard and then I can put it and then I can repost it and we are not going to credit any news agency because basically anybody can walk by any place in America in a restaurant this that or whatever and would be able to see it and then we have be able to share the news with everybody too copyright doesn't infringe 1976 107 so we are going to go ahead and look at this huge and then basically I'll take you down through these real fast so you'll see and remember what she says in this deal because basically it's an unusual time and it is because basically all the uh, asteroids in action and remember that NASA lied to us and said that well there's nothing close to us and we know that and that stuff ends in like October the normal okay and then the in the fall again of next year we'll have a lot of action okay so now, I saw this was close on the data, okay, but let's watch and see what actually hit the ground and blew up in the atmosphere or an asteroid or whatever in uh, South Carolina. Check this out, okay, and this was close, so this was, this ran, what you're going to see in this news thing ran with this, and as you can see, you have a tailor there, okay, so we have some interesting stuff, and there is stuff hitting the ground, okay, so on Fireball, you'll get that data that that hit that close, and as you see, still, they do not tell you where it's from, what, uh, comet asteroid belt it's from okay so and as basically they've been in all these because basically this is not the common time it is but way late and then we don't have another occurrence coming up until like april so listen to her in the report and then i got other footage you're, you're not crazy boom overnight a flash of light and heard a loud boom overnight a little before two in the morning no you're, you're not crazy our security cameras here caught it on video and many of you told us you saw the light show all across the region fox carolina's dana walker is live pretty early this morning in fountain inn i saw this big bright light that made the sand kind of almost sparkle it was so bright cindy stubbs thought maybe it was a shooting star this spot right here this little area was so bright it just scared me i didn't know what it was i thought the aliens were coming but it wasn't just in fountain inn and it wasn't an alien sky cameras in lawndale north carolina recorded this flash of light streak across the sky and in greenville joseph fiddler's security camera recorded the sky lighting up and you can see the flying object reflected in his car's windshield it's from her 911 what's the address of your emergency and very seriously the boom explode surprised by the
Paul Center heard from more than 30 callers surprised by the flash of light and the boom, explosion noise. We always take an explosion very seriously. Normally we'd be sending a fire. Which will pass through a tail of a comet. This was kind of a rogue object, uh, no way to predict it, and uh, that makes it even more delightful. Now, Dr. St. Lucas says that he doesn't know where this meteoroid came from, but he does say the next scheduled meteor shower is set for April 21st, probably from the constellation Lyra. Right now, reporting live. Like I was saying, folks, it's unusual because Venus should not, absolutely not, be that big looking, okay? And let's blow it in at a thousand. Now, remember, this is an A headshot, and also check out this because it looks like electrical energy or something massive from somewhere in a very, very straight line out here to the left. Okay, and I'll blow this down to 400 too, and you can see where it's coming from. It's like up over here at some whatever planet that is or something like that. So as I cruise back down, you're going to see that this is stereo ahead and basically a straight line. And yeah, it could be a CME, but that is a very strange CME because basically here's a CME right here that we've seen, and we've seen plenty of them. And look at how straight they are. They're like lightning right now. You see how they're like lightning through space right now instead of those massive flame fireball? And these are still massive flame fireballs, folks, but they're way more electrical looking. Check that out. Looks like a gigantic shot of lightning. Okay, now that's crazy because that's going towards Earth, that one there. I mean, not directly. Earth is somewhere over here in this darkish area, out, but a lot more farther over this way to the right. You know, over here, we're hiding out in the darkness over here somewhere because on our back door, and let me plop out real fast to like 400 down here. On our back door, Earth would be back, you know, we're back over here in the dark somewhere, and on our back door is the dark, okay? So there's the sun, and there it is, and we basically, you can tell that that's not Venus. Venus is too damn big. Cause see the sun? Okay? The only thing that could even be close to that size, and Jupiter's not there. Okay, and we know what usually happens around here when, yep, the phone rings when they don't like to showing you the truth. Okay, so we had a lot of that stuff, and basically that was more than likely it, but also some something hit the ground more than likely an asteroid there in North and South Carolina. And then today you're going to notice, and I just grabbed this footage off of here, and you'll see what we've been seeing in the sun, the protection layer that it has, because basically you've got a cloud overcast, okay? And you're going to see in some later footage in here that we have some high cloud overcast in here, okay? Let me hit play on this and get this up here. Basically, this is Hawaii cloud cam footage, okay? And basically a webcam, okay? And as you can see, the sun. And it is 10 a.m. coming up, but it has, and you can see the protection layer that the sun pretty much has that the comets end up getting most of the time that don't hit the sun, that are not huge. And then that what's interesting, what Lovejoy must have de dealt with, because either Lovejoy had to have came in within that coronal that you see there. And basically it's like an aurora, it's like a uh, it's hemisphere, like our spheres here on Earth. It has layers that scientists are still studying, and whether you could, I could probably even re research it up, and it'll say this, this one, that one, and so forth and so on. But now check out what we've got, because as this will play through here, watch right here, okay, for what we have been seeing before from our, and you can still see the part of an asteroid belt action on some of this footage that we're going to see here. Now he's going to, this is going to switch from one channel and basically this is all believable because you see the times and the clickers and stuff, stuff like that and I know by looking at it that it's actual footage, okay? And there it is, you see it? So we've got a little baby moon or something out in front of the sun, no matter what anybody can say, it's right there in your eyes, okay? webcab footage from today because I'm going to take you to a chart and I'll pause it. Basically I'm just going to sit here and talk but I will take you immediately after seeing this footage and then the next footage of the next uh, camera on one of the other uh, telescopes. Okay, here we go. And I want to thank the, you know, Bino's got lots of friends because everybody wants to see the truth because everybody's been pissed that we don't get to see the truth, okay? So basically, this is not going to be as good, at least I don't believe. I didn't really actually even watch this side. I watched about this far, and then I was like, well, hell, i got to put this up. This is pretty cool uh, because it's even more defining. Because look at the cloud cover up so flipping high also, folks, okay? So we seeing almost like action because basically those are the clouds down below, folks. And yes, we know we got high and low clouds, but we got some very high clouds in this shot, okay? Basically, you know, in both of these webcam actions here, okay? So it's like, 
we've got a super giant sun or something is pressing down on our and basically you've seen when we've showed you asteroid belts before of the footage that we've seen down in Texas that my one video you see what I'm saying so this is very interesting footage uh, because we know it's a super giants and we know it's the sun because the sun's in the super giants but this is AM this is the sun okay I'm not saying that this is not the sun but it's also not not the super giants because the sun is is within the super giants main sequence right now okay and you do have a planet that was basically if I could just pop the footage back I think I can find it again real fast here we'll plot back and you're gonna see here you shouldn't be able to miss you can see that okay and basically you had that cloud cover so basically you don't get all of the 3d action in the hologram that we normally get and you can actually it does a filter job and you can see that flipping whatever okay dwarf all right or small moon and if it's Oricus then Oricus is gonna be a hell of a lot bigger than what we think it is okay and I don't think that's coming from the direction of what Oricus would come from okay now this is the sky chart for today and this is for the the time because basically I'll show you the time that we show here is 2 p.m. Central Standard Time okay well I allowed for the, see it was at 10 o'clock or something the video was right so then Saturn should be the only thing that's over in that sky area at the four hour difference would be 10 a.m. in Hawaii and I'm showing you the two o'clock Central Standard see so there is your uh, constellations because none of this stuff it wouldn't have been the moon okay even though the moon's in front of the Sun you wouldn't have seen it in Hawaii at 10 a.m. So let's go to see if I'm wrong on that by seeing, seeing the moon rise. Okay, and to prove that, the moon rise won't be more than about 15 minutes difference, okay? And there was what the moon was, or going to be, tomorrow at 5.49 a.m., I believe. We'll go up here real fast. We've got 5.49 a.m., okay? So we'll go ahead and even see what time it rose uh, in and so you know it wouldn't have been because it'll be pretty much the same spot, maybe 15 minutes difference. So let's go ahead and check on the 17th to make it exact. So we know it's not the moon. And as you see here, moonrise on the 17th, okay, was 5.06. Okay, like I say, it only ends up being like 15 minutes or some difference every day. So basically, it was not that that we see in the video. And now currently... Down at Rothbury, you still see we have dark shadow there, too. So it's been interesting to watch down there on stuff going down in Antarctica, too. Take a look at that. And so I'm saying, folks, basically, no matter what, folks, that's not Venus, okay? Either that or something's hell got Venus on fire, which we weren't stupid about that. We wouldn't not, but the idea of Venus is too damn far away to be catching on fire, we would think. Now, is it spurting in volcanoes? Like we, I do believe, you know, I had somebody make a notation or something. They said that Venus doesn't have volcanoes. I believe that Venus has volcanoes on its moons, okay? So you have to check into that. Also, I'm uh, pretty darn sure that that's it. Uh, either that or it's Jupiter that has some moons that have volcanoes, okay? But no matter what, that is very unusual. And it really does not look like that could be Venus being there. Okay, you really honestly, if you look straight right away, the sun should be blocking Venus. Okay, so we have a very interesting object in today's shots there. So let's go ahead and then go back to, and uh, I don't know if I blew that up to a thousand. Let me blow it up to a thousand. So there's a thousand, and I think I probably did. And then, like I say, folks, there's a very interesting because I just don't believe that that could be Venus being so damn big, being that far away from the camera. And then, like I say, check out the CME looking like a flipping. And that's what I think a lot of them have been worried about is it's starting to look like flipping lightning. They're getting dry instead of wet farts, okay? Starting to look like lightning. And we do know with that there's lightning on the sun. When they get real up close, the small, but these are huge CMEs, and they're not the big cloudy CMEs that we've had in the past. They're starting to look like flipping lightning, and especially that there. And especially what I just showed you, and also since I'll have this here, I'll go up and, and as you can see, it might be electrical uh, current going between the sun and whatever the heck planet or whatever is up there. Because that's very straight line-ish. Okay? 
and like IE the diamond shapes that we are ending up seeing down at uh, Maori, I think it is the station or whatever. It's more soon. More soon.